Hello, this is my doctor for iGeekPhone.com. Today I have for you the latest, the new model of the EXA E900 Pro, a 7.1 virtual surround sound gaming headset that can be used at uh, your PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, uh, and uh, you can find them at a really really nice price i'm gonna have a coupon for you with a 15 percent discount and free stand for your earphones now this is the box that came to me a little bit smashed here from the courier nevertheless uh, as you can see there is uh, an image of the earphones at the top 24 months guarantee here warranty at the back it says here 8900 pro gaming headset offers immersive game sound with excess around 7.1 driver here are the specifications of the headset uh, 3.5 millimeters or 7.1 USB cable, driver diameter 50 millimeters, sensitivity 180 decibel, plus minus 3, speaker impedance 32 ohms, frequency range uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and for the microphone, uh, the sensitivity is uh, minus 42 plus minus 3, the size of it, uh, impedance is 2.2, uh, currency consumption maximum 0 0.5 milliampere, and this is what we are going to find inside. Now, if you check over the site of uh, EXA, you will uh, see that uh, when you want to download the driver that uh, you can use for your PC, which is... Uh, uh, with Windows 10 or Windows 7, Windows 7 uh, compatible, you will see that uh, it uh, says how you can understand if you have the new version or the old version of the E900 Pro. If you have this sticker and some other things, there must be some image right there. Uh, you can understand that uh, you have the new version as I have and I was sent from EXA and I would really like to thank them for that. Uh, now, let's open it up and see what's inside it. So let's open up the box and see what really is inside it. Apart from the stand for the earphones that I have already showed you and you are going to get for free. So we have here a pouch with some other things. Nothing else inside. So. Here we have the manual, how to connect it, and here we have, let's see, a user manual guide, as it says, and some cables, nothing else. what you get now here are the cables so we have a detachable mic we have a USB cable type C as you can see here we have a 3.5 millimeters audio jack splitter 
and a cable with 3.5 millimeter jack to connect it with your cables with your earphones and here inside the pouch we must find the earphones here they are EXA with adjustable here sides as you can see black, red and you can find it also in green, yellow it's the other color now here we plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack and if you see here it has some extensions so when you plug it here it is when you plug it here and you move it the other way right it won't come out this is for security in order not to be detached and you turn it around and you take it outside uh, you see here we have a type C jack and a normal 3.5 millimeters audio jack power must be power and this is for the volume on the other side nothing so let's well it's not power we must see what N it is so from what I see in order to work They connect only through cable, through 3.5 millimeter, or through USB cable. Now, depending on how you are going to connect it, you are going to have uh, a different kind of connection. Is uh, 7.1 or not? Uh, I'm going to test it, uh, I'm going to download the driver at my PC and test them uh, and I'm going to see how they uh, are working with my PlayStation 4 in order to see if they are good or not well, uh, as for designs, cables, accessories and so on looks very good that it has a detachable mic that must be plugged in here from what I see so here it's the mic like that alright so here is the mic type C 3.5 millimeters audio jack which locks in you can see it here one must see what and it is ah the mic you can close its on off mic now I saw it the signal here uh, volume and that's all so we are going to test it and see if they are good and how good they are so we continue now to my PC so I have Ready with the earphones placed on uh, the stand with the mic as you can see with the two cables ready to use them for my mini PC that I have I have already downloaded the driver that 